The new iOS 26.2 should be released very soon, with the last beta released, which is beta 3, taking a look at that build number ending with a B, it indicates that there will be most likely just another beta before we move to the RC and then the final release of iOS 26.2, which is again about three weeks from now, we should have this actually released to the public. It is a great update, as I said, with a lot of new features and changes, and it will allow your iPhone, of course, to do much more. So in today's video, I will show you guys 10 really cool things that your iPhone can do with the new iOS 26.2. Now, before we get into all that, another cool thing that you can actually do right now is hit that subscribe button because most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel and that would actually help out a lot. Now, we're starting with the first one and we're heading to the podcast app. So if you use the Apple's podcast app with iOS 26.2, you will now have auto-generated chapters for podcasts. So you basically listen to a podcast, you're on the like player right here. All you have to do is just tap this button and then from here, you will get this drop down menu where you will find all the different chapters that will be auto generated and will help you like just navigate more easy through the podcast and find the things that you're really interested in. With iOS 26.2, you will also be able to customize the liquid glass on the clock of your lock screen. So that we have the clock, which of course we can make it smaller or bigger. And if you tap on it, you can choose the glass design right here. If you choose that, then you will get this slider right here, which allows to add or remove the liquid glass effect from the clock. Now, this would be really cool if it was like system wide, where we only have like a couple of options there, not like a slider like this, it would actually allow you to adjust the liquid glass. And you can see right here, we can go all the way down and make it really, really transparent. Now, this will work with other colors as well, not just the transparent one. So any of the colors that you use, you can always go ahead and adjust the liquid glass effect on your clock. Now, here's another really cool thing your iPhone can do. Let's head on to the settings. So right here under audio and visuals, if you go here, you can use your LED for alerts. Well, you could do that way before. So you have right here flash for alerts. But now with iOS 26.2, if you use it, you can also choose the screen. So not the flashlight of your device, but the screen. So it will flash the screen of your device. Or if you want to do it, you can actually even use both. So it will flash the screen and also the flashlight at the same time. Now you will also have here a couple of options where you can flash when unlocked and flash in silent mode. You can choose if you want to actually just configure any of those. But again, now you can use the screen to flash for your alerts. And for everyone that uses Apple Music, now you will get offline lyrics. So you know the lyrics feature is pretty amazing with the Apple Music app. But if you use them and you have songs that you have downloaded locally on your device, then you will also get the offline lyrics. So again, this won't work for every song. It will just work for songs that you have actually saved on your device. And even when not connected to the internet, you will still get the lyrics for those songs, which is again, an amazing addition. Of course, it makes way more sense to have lyrics also downloaded alongside with the song. And a much weighted feature now finally is here on reminders with iOS 26.2. So let's go ahead and create a new reminder here. So you can see right here, we have an option called urgent. You enable that and that will actually enable the alarm for your reminder. So you just get the alarm just like you would get with the clock app. So right, see you can, right here you can see it says alarm on iPhone 15 Pro Max. So there you will have the alarm now with the time and the date as well. So you can now finally add alarms for your reminders as easy as that, which is actually pretty cool. Moving on into the games app. So as you probably know, the games app is new on iOS 26. And with iOS 26.2, you will have now a very useful feature. If you head on to the games app and you go to your library, now you will have right here the ability 
to sort and also filter your games. So right here at the top, you will have the sort section where you can sort on recent games name and the size of the game. And then right here, you can filter based on like on this iPhone, whether you have those games downloaded on this iPhone or not, then you will have the arcade games, which are from Apple Arcade exclusively. And then you will have friends playing with games that you have played with friends, controller supports, and then you will also have categories right here. So you can actually go ahead and also filter all of your games based on the category. So you will have different categories right here that you also get on the App Store. And then you can just go ahead and filter all of your games. Another great new feature has been added to AirDrop with iOS 26.2. So if you go here under AirDrop, you will see something called Manage Known Contacts. Now right here will have your known contacts, but you can now stay connected for up to 30 days with a contact via pin code. So when you send something like a photo or a file with via AirDrop to an unknown contact that contact will have to provide you with their pin code and once you enter the pin code which will show right here on the middle of the screen then you will stay connected to that contact for 30 days and you no longer need to add any pin or something like that now another really cool thing that we hope is coming with the final release of ios 26.2 is the customization of the side button the side button that you use to lock your device or your press and hold to launch Siri. Well, that actually has been enabled in Japan. They can now set like a third party assistant instead of Siri and invoke it using the side button just like you do with Siri. So basically in Japan, they are now allowed to actually replace Siri. And I believe this is coming very soon to EU as well. Now we'll have to wait and see if that will happen for all the users, but until now is just on the code of iOS 26.2. iOS 26.2 also allows you now to enhance the safety alerts. So when you go to the safety alerts on your device on the settings, now you will see these options right here. So you will have earthquake alerts and imminent threat alerts. You can enable them directly from here and you will have a description there. And also you can improve the alert delivery if you want to by enabling it right here. And last but not least, if you live in EU, then you will get live translation with iOS 26.2. The amazing feature of iOS 26 is actually maybe one of the most underrated features of the new iOS 26. It is really, really useful, really helpful. Now it's available on EU as well. Of course, once you have your device updated to the new iOS 26.2, which again is coming out really, really soon. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 10 cool new things that your iPhone can do with iOS 26.2. Again, expected to come really soon. In my opinion, it should be here around December the 8th based on the releases that Apple has done lately. Based on the build number of the last beta, it should be here and released to the public on December the 8th. So that is it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.